All right, guys, welcome back. So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, uh, you have seen that I've reviewed a whole bunch of pressure washers. And along with that, I've reviewed a whole bunch of foam cannons that you can connect to your pressure washer and foam the car and makes your life easier. So this is a way that you can foam your car without a pressure washer. Now, I understand not everyone has a pressure washer, or even if you have one, you may not want to break it out every time. Uh, if you're just doing a quick wash or whatever else, you just want to hose it down with your basic hose. And these are three options to get you there. First off, guys, we have the McKillens. This one is from Sud Magic. They actually reached out to me after that video and said, hey, would you like to try out our foam blaster or whatever this is called? Um, and I said, sure, send it out. I'd love to, love to take a look at it. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I've been so busy with making other videos and just with everyday life that I haven't been able to review this. All right, guys, and speaking of being super, super busy, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Now, I know I've talked to you in the past about Skillshare and its whole online learning community. I used it in the past for learning how to improve my YouTube videos. You could also do classes in illustration, uh, animation, online marketing, just tons and tons of classes that are curated specifically for learning, so you don't have to deal with any ads or anything like that. It's just log into Skillshare and start learning. Now, personally, I've been so, so busy lately and luckily Skillshare actually has classes on productivity. Now I've been actually going through a couple different classes but the one that I'm enjoying right now is Productivity Masterclass. Create a custom system that works for you by Thomas Frank. Now each course is broken down into small segments so you can learn things at your own pace but there's so many different classes that can fit your needs perfectly. So once again, Skillshare has sponsored this video and they're offering the first thousand people to use the link down in the description below. They'll get a one month free membership to Skillshare. Now, once again, the first thousand people to use that link will get a free one month subscription to Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now back to the video. So I wanted to take an opportunity to do that now. Um, but again, I can't find this on Amazon currently, so I'm gonna try and reach out to the, to the, to the people that reached out to me and say, hey, is this gonna be back or not? Because build quality wise, guys, I would say this one looks the best, and we'll walk through that. Um, but again, uh, as far as the bottle goes, this is actually measured out in ounces instead of, instead of liters or milliliters, and this is a 48 ounce bottle. Um, they're all gonna be the same as far as the rest of it goes standard tube, this one does not have a filter on it. These other two do come with a little filter, just a little plastic filter. Um, so that's one point of differentiation. However, the rest of this piece seems to be like all billet, like aluminum. Huge quick connect here, super, super nice machine, kind of, uh, uh, I don't know what the exact material is, but it's, it's fancy, it looks great. Um, now, I don't know, it seems to be that it does move, so maybe it leaks there, maybe that was the issue, but we're gonna go ahead and test that out and see. Um, and the last one we have here, guys, now this is, again, I don't think this is live on their website yet. It's been out of stock, but it should be back in stock very, very soon, so keep that in mind. We'll link that to you guys as well. And this is from MacShine. So this one also is measured out in ounces, and it is a 32 ounce bottle. I mean, 32 ounces goes to here, so maybe a little bit more, but basically 32 ounce bottle. Has your basic um, straw with the filter on the end. And these also have quick connects. We're gonna go, go through these a little bit in depth right now, and then we'll test them all out and see um, how they work. So here we go, guys. Let's start, let's start off with the McKillens. All right, guys, so we're gonna jump into this into a little bit more detail now. McKillens, right off the bat. Most of these, like it's a pretty standard thing. The housings of these are plastic. Okay, so build quality wise, it's not the most impressive thing in the world, plastic on plastic, it's just, it's just what it is. Um, except for that other one, which we'll talk about, but again, plastic, you can see right into there. Uh, it's just a wide open mouth, and I don't even see where the foam would be made, where the foam would be generated. You see, you usually see a little bit of mesh, so maybe it's back here in this piece. One thing that I do like about this, guys, it is, is a nice, strong brass connection, quick connect right here which is very, very nice. And if you're not using this, you can leave this on your hose and just constantly use it as a normal hose. Um, but you're gonna be able to turn it on and off, which is nice. Little mesh filter at the bottom just to filter out any debris. And I don't know what's going on, but I don't see any mesh through there at all. You can see my eye through there 
and there's no mesh in there whatsoever. So is it in here? No. All right, you guys, so after a little bit of uh, research, just a little bit of reading, <laughs> Uh, I found that they have foam in, or insert tips that actually go into the where the straw goes basically. Uh, let, me get a, let me get the yellow one so it's easy for you guys to see it. So basically you take this little insert piece, just this little guy, um, and it's basically acting like an orifice. So that one's really small. So anyway, you insert it right here, okay? Inserted and then you put the straw over this. And that is it, now we're ready to roll. So they give you three tips. They give you a yellow, a green, and a blue. So there's the green and the blue, but it does state high foaming is the green tip, medium foaming is the yellow tip, low foaming is the blue tip. However, it says for maximum foaming, no tip. And that's recommended. So they recommend not using it to get the most amount of foam. So we're yanking this thing out. Um, and that's all I see as far as foam creation goes. I don't know, uh, like typically in a foam cannon, you have two pieces that really help make foam. You have the orifice, the smaller the orifice, the better, for, depending on the water flow. Um, and then you also have a mesh filter inside of it. And let me grab one here for you guys really quickly. A mesh filter like this, okay? Now, this doesn't have anything in it, at least not that I can see. Again, we took this apart. We can look straight through it. There's nothing in there. Um, there is the mesh filter down here. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not, but again, I don't see anything else, so that's how we're gonna have to test it. So let's go ahead and move forward, guys. I'm gonna go grab, um, let's see, what soap should I use? Uh, let's go with the, the Old Faithful. Let's go with Mr. Pink. Um, Adam's Mega Foam will get the most amount of foam, but Mr. Pink's my staple that I have always tested everything with. So we're just gonna run with uh, uh, Chemical Guys Mr. Pink. I'll link that down below. I'll also link the Adam's Mega Foam down below. You will get more foam with that. It's just a high, high, high foaming um, solution. But let's go ahead and grab Mr. Pink. I'll fill this up. Again, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill up um, a few ounces of this depending on what the directions on Mr. Pink say and we're gonna run it that way. We're gonna, as, as stated by them, uh, actually, yeah, I think we'll, we'll run it that way because that would be comparing it directly with a regular foam cannon that you would hook up to a pressure washer. Now, if you add a little bit more foam, from my experience with the foam cannons with, that you do hook up to a pressure washer, if you ha add more of the soap, it doesn't necessarily add a lot of foaming to it. It just, it, it doesn't. You're just burning through more product. So um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this one up and we'll start testing the McKillen's foam blaster. All right guys, so we've got this thing all set up. Here it is. Now just one thing to note really quickly, it's not a big deal, but the straw on the McKillen's is longer than the bottle is deep. So you have to push it in and it kind of wraps around a little bit. Not a big deal, you can also trim the straw. It's just something to note, that's just how it comes. Um, so I'm all hooked up, my water is on. I'm just gonna connect this guy up and we will get to testing this. Um, now, one thing to note, guys, is a, a, a standard garden hose gets up to like 10 gallons per minute or something like that. I haven't tested it, but that, that's what I've heard. <laughs> um, now, the reason with foam cannons, the reason you have to change the orifice, the filter is such an important piece, is because the flow rate going through a, a pressure washer, even though it has higher PSI, the flow the, of the gallons per minute um, is lower. So, especially when you're using an electric pressure washer with a lower GPM, um, you switch out to that tiny orifice to help it foam better. With these, since it has such a high um, water flow, maybe that's why it doesn't need all that stuff. But let's go ahead and test it. Again, this one, no adjustment on the nozzle. You can't do anything with it. It just is what it is. It's just a big open spot, so it's just gonna spray water. Um, let's go ahead and test this thing. Very, very soapy water. Would it? I, I, would I call it foam? No. I mean, it's foamy, but it's definitely just falling right off of the panel. It is getting a good amount of suds for sure, and that will help lubricate the car. It will help to add uh, that first layer of lubrication. So when you go in with your contact wash, you're going to reduce the risk of marring the paint. So that's all good. It's just 
in comparison to an actual foam cannon, this is doing nothing. Um, really quickly, I'm going to change out. The, I'm, I am going to put that little tip into the, the hose and see if that changes anything. All righty, guys. So I just put the green little tip into the, into the head of this thing, put the hose back, the little straw back over it. The green color is the high foaming solution, even though it does say to get the most amount of foam, use no tip. It's just of the tips, that's the highest foaming. Let's check it. Yeah, even less foam. Eh, I, w I don't know. Yeah, it's cool. It does help add lubrication, like I said, but I'm pretty underwhelmed with the performance um, or just the amount of soap that you're getting on the car in comparison to a foam cannon, at least. Let's move over to the next one. Let's go to the uh, Sud Magic. I'm just going to take this solution, pour it into that one, and we'll test it. But let's walk through that one first and see how it uh, compares to this one. All right, guys. So we're moving on to the Sud Magic one now. And again, I don't know if this is still available, available or not. But I wanted to cover it because build quality, again, I don't know about the O-ring in here, it does move. But other than that, build quality on this thing is the best. Uh, of these three, it seems to be the nicest. Um, so we're going to screw the top off. Again, this one has no filter on the bottom, but we do have this gigantic quick connect, which is super cool, everything looks really nice. Um, and then all of this stuff is removable. So we can remove this, okay? So there's that whole piece. And then you can look inside. And as you can see, or you can kind of see, there's mesh filters inside. Let me just go ahead and open this up for you guys. And there's actually three of them stacked in here, right in the nozzle piece. And they're just like really thin graded mesh filters. So I don't know how much that actually helps, but it's gotta help more than having nothing there. So I like the fact that it has that. Um, and, and I really like the fact that the build quality feels really, really good. Is it really good? We're gonna find out here in a second when we test it. Ooh. But um, like I said, everything feels super, super nice. So let me go ahead and grab the solution from the McKillens. Now it didn't, I, I, obviously I didn't spray it for very long, but it wasn't like cons consuming all of the product really, really quickly, which is good. Um, also the wide mouth on that one is much wider than that one. However, the one on the, um, the smaller one is still plenty wide. It's not a, not a big deal at all. All right, so there's our solution. Same exact, mixture, mixture, same exact mixture ratio. Let's go ahead and screw the cap on. Good, I'm gonna hook up the little trigger to my hose. And we'll go ahead and test this thing out in one second. Here we go. Trigger is connected to my hose. Here is the foam blaster. Go and connect it, and here we go. So substantial, substantially more foam out of this one. Like, absolutely way more. Um, yeah, this is usable. The McKillens, unfortunately, just didn't get, like it was just soapy water. This is actually kind of foaming up, still kind of sticking to the panel. For what it is, it's doing a great job. Um, again, I don't know if this one's available or not. I'll find out for you guys. If it is, I'll link it below. If not, I'll link other ones down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, this one's doing a good job. Even on the side panels, because that's where I could test the other one, it's doing a much better job. So. Cool, this one's good to go. Let's test out the last one, which is from Max Shine. Again, it's not in stock currently, but it will be back very, very soon. So let's go ahead and look at that one. All right, last one we're gonna be looking at is the Max Shine. Now this one uh, has the smallest bottle of the three. And build quality wise, again, plastic up front. Um, this one is a little bit different than the other one where the quick connection point is also plastic on plastic. So just keep that in mind. Um, not as robust as the brass, but um, yeah, it should be. I think it's close enough to the weighted point that it shouldn't be any issue, but just something to note. Um, however, with this one, guys, something pretty cool. They do have the filter on the back of the straw, and if you look through, they do have a filter in there, a little mesh filter. I don't know if you can see it or not, 
But the other thing is, is it looks like more like a normal foam cannon. Now it's not adjustable, but it looks like it's gonna give us a vertical spray pattern like a normal foam cannon would be, which I really like because that way you're getting nice consistent coverage over the vehicle, so I like that. Now, um, I, I, I don't wanna break this thing. It looks like I can peel these back a little bit and slide this piece out and look at the filter. I'm gonna test it first so they don't break it and then that's gonna defeat the purpose of testing it. Um, so let's go ahead and hook this one up. One more thing to note with this one, guys, is at the back of the trigger, it actually comes with this installed, a three quarter inch quick connect. Um, I don't know, I don't have a quick connection that fits that, so I don't know why they included that necessarily, but you, it is removable, so if you have that quick connection point, that's a nice, it's a nice little feature that they give you that. If you don't have it, then just remove it and it's the same as all the others. All right, this is connected. I'm just gonna go ahead again and transfer over this material, the soap mixture. All right, so guys, we have the exact same amount or exact same mixture ratio once again in the Mac Shine. And let me get the top of it. Good to go, and let's go test this thing. All right, number three, quick connect on. Yeah, it feels like zero issue with that plastic connector. I don't think that's, maybe over time that'll wear down, but right as of right now, no big deal. Let's go ahead and test it. All right, so I'd call it second best. Um, that Sud Magic one definitely performed the best, got the most amount of foam. This one I really like that it is going vertical, so I like that a lot. Um, it's just, again, it's, it just is what it is with these. Apparently they don't get a crazy amount of foam. It's just, it, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and um, open this up now. I'm gonna try and slide this out so we can take a look at the filter and go from there. All right, guys, so here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little tool and try and pry this off. All right guys, so we got it. It is out. So here is our whole piece. Now, hmm. now this piece comes apart and there is our mesh filter. All right, so the difference here, guys, between the Sud Magic and this Mac Shine is that we only get one little filter. So let me see, uh, I'm gonna add the other filters from the other one and see if it gets better performance. If that's the case, um, I'll see if I can find more of these guys and uh, see if we can link those down below for you to get the best performance. All right, so this one has three in it. They are a little bit smaller than the one from MacShine is, um, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put them behind this one actually. Uh, if I can remember how this is, oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in, put that one back in. Now you can see the other three the first one's back in there. I'm just gonna place the other three over the top and then we can put this piece back in, get it to click back into place, and there we are. So let's test it again and see if that helped our foam production. All right guys, we've got the extra foam or extra mesh filters in this thing now. We're gonna connect it and let's see. Oh. Is this thing on all the way? All right, so <laughs> I guess we can't add that many filters. It just completely ruins the performance. So, eh, I do like the Max Shine one with the, the angle. Uh, the Sud Magic one performed, got the most, most amount of foam. Probably the best build quality out of all of them. Is it available? I don't know, sorry. Um, I'll look around online uh, to see if I can find any others that look like the same thing, and I'll link those down below for you guys. Um, so if you're looking for something like this, then that uh, will be there for you. Um, if you do want the MaxGen one, check the website. It, they should be coming up uh, here, back in stock here pretty soon. Use code IMJOSHV15. It'll get you 15% off. And then, um, yeah, if you guys are interested in these things more, um, let me know, comment down below. I'll buy a bunch of them and test them all out and see if any of them perform much significantly better than the others and just go that way. But that's it guys. I hope that helps you out. Please make sure you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Please turn on that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one.